back to another Keeping Up With The Click High. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Happy Thursday. Look at those babies. So today we are going to talk about my top five cons for the Alaskan Click High. I know, yes, they have cons, things that they are bad at or maybe we don't like. And so we're going to talk about that today. And of course, I'm a breeder for the Alaskan Klikai, so I love them personally. However, it's really important for everybody to know what the good and the bad is before making a decision to even get an Alaskan Klikai. And so hopefully this is going to help you make a decision if in fact you are on the fence. Maybe you're thinking about adding a Klikai to your family. I mean, what's not to like? They're the most adorable things. They have such expression and personality. But... It's not all good. So before we get started, my name is Desiree. Welcome to the show. We are live every Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. And if you are new, please type new in the comments below so that we can welcome you guys. Just a few general housekeeping rules. We do allow questions in the chat. As you can tell, there's tons of chat popping up there. Um, please put three question marks in front of your questions. Alexis is telling me I need to do something, but it didn't work. Um, and so if you can put three question marks before you ask your question so that we don't miss your questions, that would be awesome. Please keep your questions to the topic at hand, and then we will get to other questions as time allows once we get through this topic. Now, if you do give us a super chat or a super sticker, which those donations come to us and our show, then of course you jump to the top of the list and you can ask any question you'd like. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So let's talk about the cons. And I listed five cons that I really think um, could be a challenge, could be discouraging for people. Maybe it's something that um, we don't want to deal with. Maybe it's something we tolerate because we love everything else about the breed. But um, real, real fast, I don't know if you know that you can do the favorite thing. Oh. See this little star? Okay. Sorry. We have our, our system now allows us to um, identify all of the questions. So that way, if you star them all, we can just see them. Okay. Okay. So our very first one is shedding, of course. So that has to be a con. Even the people who love the click high, I know one thing we tolerate is the shedding. And we talk about the shedding a lot here, um, about how to groom them, how to deal with it, how much fur is it really? Is it nonstop? Is it all year long? Um, and so the answer is, it is manageable. However, it's only manageable if you guys are willing to put in a little bit of work. And so that means, <laughs> oh, Julie's on, hey Julie. Um, Julie, I know most of you guys probably remember Julie was on with us oh, a few months back and I'm glad you made it. So she, um, just went on vacation. I'm sure she's all excited because she's well rested. I need one of those. But anyhow, back to the shedding. So it is manageable if you guys put in the work. And what I mean by that is even when they're not shedding, not blowing that coat, um, you should brush them at least once a week. And the... The reason is, even though they may not be shedding or they don't look like they actually need to have brush um, brushings or grooming, if you constantly do that, even when they're not shedding, what's going to happen is you're going to constantly promote the growth of the new fur and slowly pull out any of the dead fur that maybe you don't even notice is coming out. So then when it is time for them to actually blow that undercoat, then it's going to be less because you're constantly removing any loose fur. Um, and so that is our number one. And we talk about grooming tools and tips on here a lot. If you guys are interested in that, you can go back and watch some of the other grooming um, videos that we have done. And that will help you guys. But there's a whole list of things that we use and what we recommend and what works the best and the fastest. So I would recommend doing that. But it is manageable. Just have a Roomba, have lots of vacuums, have lots of roller brushes, and don't wear black. I wear black all of the time, but I'm telling you not to wear black, because if you do, you will be covered in fur. All right, moving on. Number two, 
Can you say stubborn? Yeah, this breed is stubborn, um, pretty stubborn, in fact, and sometimes it is quite annoying. So definitely a con. Um, however, sometimes we like it when our dogs are eh, kind of moody or have a mind of their own. Um, and so a lot of times a stubborn breed is actually a pretty intelligent breed. Um, and so they are not doing what they are being told to do because they think that if they don't listen to us, we are going to give in, which in fact, half the time we do. And they learn from that and then they just decide they're not going to do it. They have a mind of their own. Um, they feel like they know what they're doing and they don't wanna listen to us and they don't wanna go where we want them to go, like their crates or bedtime. Um, and so they can be pretty stubborn. And so this is a con because if you guys um, are new to owning a dog in general, especially a Northern breed, then you are going to struggle if you are not in charge. So you have to be the pack leader in this breed. Um, they need to respect you and know who the boss is. And if you cannot be the pack leader, then they are going to walk all over you and you will have a stubborn dog forever. Now, if they respect you and if they are well-trained to understand that I'm the boss, you're not the boss, I make the rules, you don't make the rules, um, it's, it's less of a problem whenever you're dealing with this because eventually they're like, okay, and they come crawling over and, and give you those little sad puppy eyes and say, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know you're the boss kind of thing. Um, so it's manageable but only if you know how to deal with it from the very beginning. So when you get a puppy at eight weeks old, you must be in charge from that day forward. Um, and if you're not, I told you so. So our next one, and I will get to your guys' questions here shortly, but our next one is a Velcro dog. And if you don't know what a Velcro dog is, just imagine two pieces of Velcro, one with the sticky back on you and one with the sticky back on your dog. Um, and that means that this breed is attached to us. Like they want to be with us 24 seven. They will be right under our feet when we're walking and we will trip over them. You've seen me every time I go into this little puppy room, they're just like magnets all over me and they want to be with us. Now I put this as a con, but I also feel like this is not necessarily a bad thing because the Alaskan Klikai are companion breed right? They're meant to be with us. They want to be with us. That's what they're bred for. And so it's, that's what we're, we're supposed to do whenever you get a companion dog. But at the same time, if you are busy in that moment, or if you're in a hurry and you're tripping over them and they just want to go everywhere and you have a doctor's appointment and you can't take them, that gets a little frustrating. And so that's where you have to train your dog to be able to be alone and cope with having alone time. They don't have to have a lot of it, but they need some. So that way they don't have separation anxiety and they don't deal with um, all of the negative behaviors that come with being so attached to their owner. So it is a good and a bad thing because we all have a life outside of our house and our dogs and we need space sometimes. So keep that in mind, this breed, they wanna be with you all of the time. So those puppies that are in there are Siggy's puppies. Could you believe it? They've grown so fast. Look at how big they are. They already go home next week, but we'll show them to you here in a minute. All right, and my next one, actually, before we get to my next one, I'll see if there's questions real fast. There's only one. Oh. And it's, how old is Maya's puppy? Oh, Tanya. Oh, Tanya. She's five weeks old. <laughs> um, okay. Well, that's good. You guys are saving all the questions. And so our next one is they're vocal. So this is a vocal breed. So they're pretty talkative. Um, but in addition to talking and doing the RRs, you know, they can howl. Um, they can scream and they can be pretty loud and obnoxious. Some of them have a very high pitch, um, some of them don't. I wouldn't say they are necessarily a yappy barker type of breed, um, but they are pretty vocal and it can get really loud, especially if you got two or three or, or 10. 
Um, so keep that in mind. A lot of things about that is amazing. Like we all love whenever our dog is so super cute and RRs us and tells us about their day, but it can be quite a nuisance and you can get complaints because your dog is super loud, especially if they're not used to being home alone because they're Velcro dogs and we leave them home all day and they're crying and screaming um, and howling uh, for no reason other than they're home alone. Um, that can be a problem, but it's also amazing and so cute whenever you see them howling at the sirens or talking back at us and telling us how their day was um, so they're just a very vocal breed. We good? Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. And number five. So they can be a high energy breed. And that's a con for some of us because some of us want a small, compact companion that can chill with us on the couch. Um, and this breed can be that. However, they can be pretty high strung or have high energy. And so there's a compromise. They need exercise mentally and physically, and then they will be that amazing companion laying on the couch with you. But if they don't get the physical aspect and the mental aspect of it, then they're going to drive you crazy doing the zoomies, running around in circles, um, or what? I'll, I'll see it in a minute. Just start. Um, is that they need to release this energy. And so keep that in mind that if you don't release this energy and you don't challenge this breed, then you are going to have a breed that is getting into trouble, getting into things, digging holes, um, being a bad puppy or being a bad adult dog even. And so just keep that in mind that if you are not active and you're looking for an eight week old puppy that's going to just be a couch potato forever, um, probably not the best breed for you because they need that mentally and physically. All right. Alexis was trying to show me, uh, Lauren says, won't lie. The biggest fear after getting Luna was that, um, I would see the cops in the ring thinking we we're abusing the baby because of how loud she is. Yeah, exactly. So they can be pretty loud, um, especially when they don't get their way. They are going to be ridiculous. Um, you just have to learn how to ignore it, like tone it out and cover the crate, walk away, put them in a separate room. So that way um, they learn that once they're quiet, they can come out. River's six months old. The dog still screams sometimes. Sometimes. I just ignore him. Everyone else is like that dog. He'll be in a crate right next to me. He's totally fine. <laughs> the babies. All right. Megan is asking. Oh, I should put it on this one. Um, that way I can see it better. Would taking your clique high for a weekly professional grooming, not washing, help reduce the amount of fur in home? Or is it all fur all of the time, no matter how much you brush them? So when they're not blowing that coat, um, it's it's really not that bad. I don't think it's necessary that you take them to a groomer that often. They're loud today. Um, you can do it yourself. And... And honestly, that's a really good time for you to bond with your dog and spend time with them and get them used to being brushed and groomed by you. So if it's not too much fur all over, you can literally do it on your carpet, on the couch, anything. It's just really getting any little bits and pieces out. You don't need to take them to the groomer. Probably wouldn't hurt, but you want to do it yourself too because you want them to bond and, and be used to you doing it. Um, all right. No? Oh, Alexis is, Alexis is here running the show with me today. <laughs> you, you can put it on, Catherine. Uh, Catherine's asking how River is doing. Yeah, he's my problem child. I'll be honest. And part of it is I have a lot of dogs. I have a lot of puppies. And I only have so much time in the day right now. And so I don't give him everything he needs. And I know that. Um, it's 
hopefully going to die down soon and I'll have more time to spend with him. But yeah, he's my problem child. For sure. Um, all right. Family Ramos. What do you suggest if I can't cover the crate because he pulls everything inside the crate? <laughs> um, I'm assuming you probably have a metal crate would be my guess. And so if that's the case, um, first I would try putting a, a plastic crate. Second, I would say you need to put him in a different room if possible and close the door. So um, first try the crate, switch it out to a plastic one and make sure he's tired, super tired. Get him mentally and physically challenged and then put him in there. And if you have to give him a bully stick or give him one of these star marks or something to keep him a little busy, um, that's going to help him over time. And you need to start slow. If your dog isn't used to being in a crate, you got to start slow, five, 10 minutes at a time. As soon as you hear he's quiet, go get him out. Um, and then keep working him that way until they get used to it. There are times when River's just out and he's totally good, but there are times when he's not. Okay, Tisha is asking, um, I've read that Clay Kai may need more socialization as a puppy than other breeds. Have you found that to be true? Is it possibly considered a con? Um, so I think that all dogs need a lot of socialization and it really, there's just this window of opportunity and that window is anywhere from, I mean, when they're with the breeder still, even before they're eight weeks old, up to 16 weeks really 12, 14, but up to 16 weeks is that window of opportunity where you socialize, get them accustomed to everything that we live in, in our world, you know, from different sounds and people, um, that is going to make a big difference regardless of the breed. A lot of it also has to do with how they're raised the first eight weeks, um, you know, in any breed. Um, but I mean, yeah, it could be a con. I think it could be a con in any breed too. Um, some, I think maybe don't need it as much when you're talking a lab puppy, but yeah, for the most part, they do need a lot of socialization. <sighs> yeah. Plastic crate, try the plastic crate. And then you can honestly probably still put something over it, um, in the front of it and you'll be fine because they probably can't get through the little tiny squares, but I would do a plastic crate. I don't, I don't like the metal crates. Um, and that's what I always recommend to everybody is to get a plastic crate because the plastic crates, they can't see through as much and, um, it's easier to cover them and it's more den like. And so the metal ones, we do use the big metal ones when we have moms with babies, just because they're really big and I could see them all the time. But for my dogs I'm working with in training, I don't use those. I know he's jumping on the little dog toy. Who is that? <laughs> uh, Emily, Nil is working towards CGC. Oh, nice. Any advice, especially on the three minute of no anxiety with you gone? <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know how old she is, but that's just practice. It's really just practice. But CGC, that's awesome. Um, so that in case you guys aren't familiar with what that is, it's a canine good citizen um, certificate. So she needs to be a good girl in order to pass this. Uh, and so, yeah, she's got to be able to stay away from you for just a few minutes, Emily. <laughs> I, I really don't have any more advice other than just keep working at it slowly. So start off in, you know, 30 second increments until you can work your way up. Um, yeah, it's craziness. So, of course, I am a clique high breeder, so I don't want this video to be all bad, right? And at the same time, I feel like it's super important to explain to people what some of the cons are in this breed, because anybody who's looking for a puppy in general, any puppy, you know, if you come across the Alaskan clique high on social media or YouTube or just from browsing and you see this adorable dog or you watch everybody's Instagram stories and you see this amazing, cute thing, you, you want it. But we don't always do the research necessary before we make these decisions. Um, and so I feel like we have to do our part as a breeder to inform everybody of the good and the bad. 
And that way you guys can be as prepared as possible, right? You know what you're getting yourself into and you can make the right decision for you and your family because this breed isn't for everybody, just like German Shepherds aren't for everybody. Um, but there's a lot of good that is in this breed. You know, we're going to talk about that more in the coming weeks, um, but it's not all bad. There's a lot of good. Um, and so I just want everyone to know that. But I also want everyone to know I'm I'm not against the clique high, obviously. I'm for it. Um, but I just want you guys to be as informed as possible. Um, so if we do we have any other questions? No. If we don't, we can move on. I have, I am going to um, Yes, I did. Alexa says she doesn't think I did five. They're stubborn. Oh, why is this one here? It says that. There's three. There's. Oh, they all say that. Yeah. So I did. They're shedding. They're stubborn. They're Velcro dogs. They're talkative. And they're high energy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, that's okay. Um. So let's see if I can switch over and see. Oh. Oh my God, that little baby just rolled. So I am trying to use both cameras at the same time over there, but do you see it's kind of glitchy? It's glitchy for them. It's Bummer. glitchy for us. Yeah, it is. Well, I was going to try that, but that's okay. We'll bring them up closer in a minute. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we have new puppies. We have to name, and I know all of you guys are excited for that. I also have a bark box that, remember last time? We couldn't find the box. We found the box. I didn't open it. So we're going to open it inside there and let the little ones have that. And, um, but we have to name some puppies and we have to show you puppies. It's crazy around here. So next thing we are going to do is dun, 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 dun. we're going to show you puppies. Of course, we want everyone to name them. So we have two litters. Um, Aggie, can you grab one puppy? Uh, Aggie has two black and white boys. Um, they're actually quite old, but I haven't announced them because um, she wasn't here with them. So now she's home and I can share and announce them. But she has two black and white boys. She was bred to Ringo. And um, they were born March 27th. So they are the age litter. So I have to come up, or actually, we have to pick somebody. We're going to pick two people in the chat here um, to name them. So we're going to name an H litter and then an I litter. So Aggies is first, and I, want, I still want you guys to throw all your suggestions in there because the person that we pick isn't um, necessarily going to pick the ones that they come up with. Maybe they might like somebody else's. So two boys. I'm going to switch this camera view over for you guys and um, turn on the light. So I have two boys and I name H's, H's, H's. Alexis, um, we're gonna let them. Tanya, not I yet. <laughs> not I yet. Um, we're gonna let somebody pick. So you need to decide who, since you're right there, if you can decide who you want to pick. Um, I gotta turn this light on for you Oh, guys. one person's picking both names? Yes. So that's what I've been doing since you haven't been here. Oh. I just let. <laughs> Really? Really? He says he doesn't like that name. Did I say they were a vocal breed? <laughs> Which one are you? They're almost identical. That one has closer eyebrows. This one's bigger. Okay. 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 I know you can't be hungry. You weigh three pounds. Wait, so I just pick a person? Yeah, you're going to pick a person that um, you want to let pick the names. And yeah, just go through and pick. Doesn't matter. Okay. Just think of like whoever you think is on all the time or um, whatever, whatever you think. All right, so... Puppy number one. So do you see this eye? 
Looks pretty blue. This side looks pretty blue. My camera is nice. Ethan says my camera is nice. <laughs> Family Ramos, because I like both names they picked. <laughs> Okay, Alexis says the family Ramos gets to pick the, the H names. So you don't have to pick the ones that you typed in. If you see something else that you like, um, Hang on, he's, inside. he's hiding in her jacket, then you could just check them out and see who else you like. And then um, we'll name them. But you have to tell us in the chat because if you don't tell us in the chat, we aren't going to know. All right. And then hold him, E. This is the other one, and I'll try to hold them up close for you guys in a minute. So um, that way you could see the two differences. So this guy, I'm pretty sure, is going to have a uh, party eye. <laughs> the light is. <laughs> You don't like to be suspended in the air? No? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Here, let's show them. I will tell you guys, Aggie's puppies are always vocal. Always. Uh, always. Simba's so vocal. So for those of you who don't... Well, this is a cons video, so I'm glad you're going to be obnoxious. Are you done? <laughs> He's like staring at that light and saying, <laughs> What? He looks like he's got like 10 chins. He's so big. Okay, so his eyes are not as blue. So do you see how they are kind of like a purpley color in there? His eyes are going to turn. I know, buddy. Okay, let me see him do so I can show them real fast together. So the, um, the, the one I was just showing you, his eyebrows, and when I say eyebrows, it's the white parts, they touch. They, they're super close together, and the other one is not. And let's see. These are porkers. So do you see the differences? <laughs> They're big babies. Now, do you guys remember the last um, pup? That's your brother, Goof. The last puppies we were talking about with Ringo. Um, and they were big too. These guys are big. They, they're the same. It was two boys last time too. So did you pick Ramos family? So Tanya is asking what size. These guys are going to be standards. They have big heads, really big heads. Um, yeah. Oh, you guys are tired. Now you're going to sleep. So he's in there, right? Yeah, they were just in here. They said yay. Okay. But... They'll put it. They'll put it. They're okay. probably still trying to figure it out. So H litter, Aggie and Ringo, and they are... Um, Simba's half brothers. Yes. All right. We'll let them pick. And then we're going to move on to our eye litter. So I'm sure most of you guys saw Dakota has a new litter. And we've been going live. Although yesterday I was, my back was messed up. I was not feeling good. So I did not live stream. Um, but we have a red. We finally have a red. It's been a while. So Dakota has three puppies. We have to do eyes. This is going to be interesting. An eye litter. And we have a red girl and two black boys. We got black boys in the house. That didn't sound good. We have, <laughs> we have black puppies in the house. I'm all bleep. Um, so I need eyes. If you guys want to shove them in there. And then Alexis is going to have to figure out who um, will get to name them. Unless you want to split it up. You can split it up if that's what you want to tell each person which one they can pick. Okay. So we have one red girl, two black and white boys. I'm going to grab them right now. I'm going to put these guys away. Actually, Alexis is going to put them away. E. 
Ethan, my helper disappeared. They picked. Oh, good. They put them in. Uh, Harley and Haku, H A K U. Uh huh. The howler <laughs> is Haku. <laughs> Here, could you help Alexis take them back? <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Are you gonna split it this time? Yeah, I think so. Alexis is gonna pick three people, I guess. She's gonna switch her room. What do you guys think of the new camera setup? Is this way better? This is way better, huh? I think I'm going to let one do both of the boys and one do the girl. Okay. Do you want to grab them for me? Yeah. Let's see what these monkeys are doing. I'll go in there in a minute. Hey, if you guys are still interested in the um, safety chew bully stick holders, look, the puppies absolutely love them. And you can get them online um, on their website. And it's, the link is in the description. You guys can get 10% off if you use Kika 10. So Kika 10, but those things are awesome. All right, now. Use your button. Oh yeah, I'm trying to learn to use my button. I have buttons. <gasps> Woo! Look at these porkers. So we weighed them this morning. They're a week old today, seven days old today. And Puppy number one and three are almost twins. Sonia, you get to do both the boys. And Misha, you can do the girl. <laughs> They're always Yanni. Okay, so Sonia, you get to name the two boys. So here's the two boys. And I gotta see which one's which. Okay, this guy is firstborn. So he's the firstborn. And he's the third born. So if you look at like their eyebrows, um, they're pretty similar, but they are a little different in color. So this guy is a little bit lighter and he's the first born. Aaron said Ziggy likes to flip around the way. Chew the, the safety, not the actual, <laughs> oh not the gosh. chew. Okay, so we have first born, third born. Oh, and by the way, the third born is the biggest of the three puppies. And these are Simba's puppies. Yeah, Simba's a daddy. They did good together. I'm really, really happy with these puppies. Huh. Oh, you guys are tired. Aw, he's kissing his brother. <laughs> All right, so the boys... Iris and Ivor. Iris and Ivor. All right, and now we have a red girl. Dun, da, da, da. How many of you guys have been waiting for a red girl? Um, we're just waiting on Misha. She said she's working. These guys are looking like, can you take one of them? They're funny. I know they are funny. She's the crazy one. Okay, we talk about reds all the time, and the reds are the crazier ones. And even when I'm just holding her showing on the lives, because I've been going live with these guys, even when I hold her up, she's just squirmy and already all over the place. But you guys love those reds. Oh my gosh. Huh. Catherine pointed out Ziggy was the last red girl and they were an eyelid or two. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So there she is, Ziggy our little red eyelid. girl. Oh yeah, she was eyelid. Uh -huh. And she's the um, second born and she weighs the second um, most. Let me see. Oh. It helps when there's two colors, you can see the differences. Look, babies. Dakota's going crazy. Look at her. <laughs> she's like, you touch the babies and you run. Yep. All right. That's the babies. You good? Let's see if I can put all three of them up here. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know about Miss Red. She's crazy. Misha, I don't know how to say that. What is it? I-L-A-N-A. -A. Ilana? Ion? I-L. Oh, I-L? Yeah. But, okay. 
<laughs> Dish the barber. I won't be able to do this for much longer. <laughs> and Ramos family changed their mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they said the loud one is Harley and the other one is... Uh, oh, you guys are killing me with these names. H-A-I-K-O. Hawaiians. Well, the Hawaiians name. Haiko? I have no idea. All right. That's the newborns. Now we have names. I want a black fur girl. I don't got one of those. <laughs> She's <laughs> all boys. <laughs> She's looking at me. What are you doing? You always want to eat, Missy. Okay, so we're going to put these guys back. I'm going to show you other babies. We have... Um, Diamond's puppies and Nala's puppy. You got them all? She's yeah. crazy. Um, Nala's puppy is five weeks old. I have to offer her. I know, I know. It's been crazy. Um, but we're going to show you. I, I did take pictures, by the way. I will get them uploaded either tonight or in the morning. But she's adorable. Who are you giving me first? Okay. So Nala's puppy, you guys named her... Uh, Fiona, yeah, Fiona. <laughs> Little Miss Fifi, Fiona. Huh? Are you a baby girl? Are you my baby girl? Are you my baby girl? She is funny, but she got personality. I need to work on the video. But her little eye has been crying. Do you see her little eye? She smells so good. What do you smell? <laughs> oh. It's still Haku, just spelled different. Oh, okay. <laughs> Her little nose. So she looks just like Nala. Just like Nala. Acts like her, too. And then the girl is Ileana. Oh, okay. Pronunciation. Thank you. Yeah. So she's little. I mean, she weighs, she's thick because she's only one puppy. But if you look at her head, she's, she's really not that big. Huh. You're not that big. No. So this is Nala's baby, and then um, diamonds. If you want to give me one of diamonds first, they could keep looking at her. She's my little porky. Yeah, they don't want to look up because of the light. Well, we do have two girls. Oh yeah, we do. That's right. <laughs> I forgot we have diamonds girls. Oh flavors. my gosh. By the way, out of diamonds, this is our favorite. Mm -hmm. He is hilarious. Wait till I make the video of this guy. He is so funny. Um, by far our favorite in the litter. Oh. I'm trying to get his eyeballs so you guys could see. I don't I don't like that light right there. He won't look because of the light. Look. <laughs> I'm going to shut this off for a minute. Let's see. That don't work. Mm -hmm. All right. Hold this. Hold on. Hold on. There. He's like, ah. Did you answer what size Fiona will be? No. No, not yet. All right, so this is Diamond's boy. He's like, oh, that is bright. But he is such a lover and a talker, huh? He's so cute. All oh, right. a haiku. Oh. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. All right, give me next. And then, um, oh, all three of Diamond's are double blue-eyed, by the way. And so is Nala's. I'm going to put this light up again so that way you guys can see the eyeballs better. She's little. She's tiny. She's really small. So Simba, or um, Stebbins and um, Diamond, they have made small puppies in the past. They don't usually have really big ones, but this time they do have a couple big ones. But this is the little tiny one. So her head and face is really small compared to let me show you compared to her brother this is where you could see 
Can you tell? So they're getting at an age where it's really hard to hold them that way. Thank you. Dakota wants them work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the little girl, the big boy. All right, and then I'll show you the other girl. These girls, these guys are already named. Um, I didn't bring their folder over here. I don't remember though. They're the G litter. Uh, hold on. And the other girl, she looks a lot like her brother. But do you see her nose? So you guys know about snow noses? Let me have him. Um, the snow nose is where it has pink on the nose and sometimes that'll go away, but sometimes it stays. And the girl has a snow nose. So do you see the pink going down? And look at her brother, barely has any right there. His will probably be gone before he goes home. Hers probably not. So the boy, the girl. They have really nice coats, really fluffy. Huh. All right. That's the itty bitties. That's it. We have a lot of questions. I know. We're going to get to them right now. You can see the difference in how big he is. That's the boy. Oh, yeah. She backed up. Isn't that craziness? Thank you. So we definitely have a standard here. He's a monster. Huh. Yeah. All right. Dakota, you already have three. She wants more. That's all of the babies. I'm going to go inside after I answer some questions and then I'll show you um, the other babies up close. All right. And they're, they're all sleeping except for one. Okay. Did you star them all so I could see them? Yeah, they're all in favors. Oh, cool. There's like a lot from a while ago. Um, so Robin, I won't offer them, oh, I should turn this off. I still have to offer Nola's. So I'll offer Nola's either tomorrow or over the weekend. Just like can go off. <laughs> and then, um, and then diamonds after that. Probably before the next live sometime next week, I'll get them offered. It's just, remember, I do a video on each litter before I offer them. So in addition to my pictures, I have to do the video and I have to edit the video, blah, blah, blah. So next week. And then Catherine, how big are Aggie's puppies? They look huge. Yeah, they're big. Um, they were on um, the 14th, which was what, two days ago? Yesterday? Was the oh, yesterday. Yesterday, they were 2.12 pounds and 2.15. So three pounds already. And they are three weeks old. They're big. Big, big, big. Next. What size do you think Fiona will be? Um, I didn't put her folder over here. She'll probably be a mini. I don't think she'll be a toy. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, she'll probably be a mini. Both her parents are minis too. Small minis. She's not going to be very big. She has a little head. Okay. Lindsay, whose were the gray and white puppies on your Instagram? Oh, I don't know. I don't do that. <laughs> My, the kids do the kids do my Instagram. I don't know uh, what they put on there. Sorry, it's no new ones. <laughs> she got excited. Oh, I it's think. an old one. Oh, it's old. <laughs> yeah, look at the logo. Yeah. <laughs> nah, Kylie used an old old photo. She tricked you guys. Do they like water? So that's a good question. Um, sometimes they love the water. In fact, we have some owners who have pools and they jump in the pool um, and do fun stuff and will be on the paddleboard. And some are only happy if it's on their own terms. 
So a beach entry pool um, at the lakes or the beach where they can do it on their own, then they seem to love it when they grow up with it. But it's when they're forced that they don't like it. We used to have a beach entry pool and our dogs would always go in the pool, but they wouldn't jump in the pool. They did go down the slide, but that was not their choice. <laughs> that was the kids. So yeah, they can like the water a lot. Uh, at what age do they need less socialization? So usually if you do a great job up until 16 weeks, then you're just maintaining, you know, taking them wherever you can take them, but you don't have to do as much after the 16 weeks if in fact you do everything that you should be doing. And there's a whole checklist that I've created and um, shared it before. Look at her, she's being mean. Our Fiona's bully. mean. Get her. She's a bully. She's in with Diamond's puppies and she's feeding them up. Leave him alone! Single dog syndrome. She's the only puppy, so this is why I have to be careful with her. Grab the tiny one by the neck. You're bad girl. Um, so, sorry, distractions. Oh. Potty training question, if you have time, Luna pees on Draco's blanket and his dog bed even after going on her pad or grass. How do I stop that? Um, hmm. I'm wondering if there's a scent on that stuff that's not coming out. So make sure that you wash that stuff with, my nose is all itchy, I think I have fur on me. Um, make sure you wash that with something that is actually going to get rid of the, the urine smell. I'm wondering if she's marking it um, or if she's mistaking that for something that's on the ground so she should be able to go potty on it or she is trying to be in charge because she's a girl and she's going to mark all of his stuff. Yeah. That's going to be a little tough because you got to first figure out what the problem is. Why is she doing it? Is, is it this, that, or this? And then you can try to find a solution. Um, sounds like she might be being a booger. Oh, she's in the bottom. Oh. Does Fiona have a snow nose? Yeah, I had to, I had to look. She does. It's not very um, much. It's just the bottom right now. You see it? Same with her lip. No. Yeah. But it'll probably it'll probably go away. You're a bad girl. Where are you beating up that baby? Hmm? Oh now you're tired. Now you're tired. She's just gonna be held. Oh. You just wanna be held. Uh next question. Oh, yeah. Speaking of lives how did your zoom go last week oh so i wasn't the one hosting that um catherine did that for me uh, dakota was having her puppies it was a crazy day I, there was no way i could do the live so catherine hosted that i did hop on a little bit but we didn't publish it it was just a private little zoom um and so it was fun i know everyone that was on there loved it and it was just very casual and you know open and they enjoyed it. So it is definitely something that we can do more of um, if we want to get people to host it. That would be really cool, like to kind of go house hopping and let all of you guys host those and just do a private ones. So that would be a lot of fun. All right. Next. Which one are you doing? You have to go from the bottom up. I okay. figured it out. Okay. Click it. Okay. Um, we used to have those pup live feed in our... Wait. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, that was a good question. So what she's saying is a long time ago, I used to do the lives in the play yard and, um, and I would just leave it on and could leave it on for hours. The problem with that is that it, well, first of all, my first camera got messed up from being outside all of the time um, because of the moisture. And then we've got a new one and it is outside. So it literally takes, it runs through the house walls, but it takes up a lot of internet speed. Um, and so we haven't done it. Additionally, the sound sucks. I'll be honest. It's because it's outside. So there's cars driving by, 
um, what I was thinking about doing, Cecilia, is um, put that camera inside on Dakota's litter. And that way I could leave that stream running 24 seven. So if you guys want that, you have to put it in the comments below because then I could put it right here. It's not outside. The sound will be better. Um, and it'll probably, it'll probably run smoother because it's not going. You the comments on the right. Huh? The comments on the right. Not below. <sighs> Depends. Who, oh. When you're looking at it, where you're looking at it. I guess. There's people who watch this after too, Alexis. She wants to run the show. I thought it sounded funny. Um, Carter Cosmo's doing great. Yay! He is a blessing to our family. Could I get a picture of his mom and dad for his portfolios? Okay, Gina, you got to email me that. I will not remember on here. That's for sure. Somebody's tired. Are you tired? So send me an email. Stacy's asking, have you ever had a very drooly click eye? Apache drools when he's sleeping. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's got wet dreams. Um, I mean, the only time we see them drooling a lot is like if they get car sick. Um, but not just, just because. No. That's interesting. Okay. Does he always do that, Stacy? I'm curious. Sorry if this was asked before, but what flea and tick products do you recommend? Um, so we use Advantex or we use Advantage because we have dogs that are breeding and moms that are pregnant and things, so we can't use um, the same on everything. Um, but Advantage or uh, Advantex. Preferably Advantex if you guys can because it's better. It covers more stuff. How is Kira doing? Yeah, it's it's K I E R A, but she's doing good. She is um almost nine months, I think. I'm pretty sure she's almost nine months. So once we get some puppies out of here, then we can start getting the crew back in here for you guys. But honestly, it is it's way too much right now for me to be trying to rotate everybody in and out and all over the place. Um, so yeah. All right. Well, little baby Nala's pup pup is getting tired. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in the play room and then Alexis can just keep track of this stuff for me and open up the bark box and see what we got and show the puppies up close for you guys. Um, so that way if their owners are on here, they can see them. They leave next week, so that'll be good. Can you switch the view? And um, yeah, we're gonna do that next. Oh, I don't know how to. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I could do it. All right, here, you wanna hold her so she doesn't beat them up? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? Here, no, I need that light. Can you give me that? Thank you. They're all sleeping. I know. They'll wake up right now. Thank you, Erica, for the super sticker. Turn on. No. Oh, I tried. 
the trick. Oh, this is going to be one that has a rabbit that comes out. Let's see. Hi, little baby girl. Hi, mama. Hold on, I got to pull these out. You guys pull up. Come on, you guys want treats? Huh? All right, let's see. Oh, that's cute. Okay, look. <laughs> you guys have to get it out. Let's see who's smart. The air sprinkle. Aww. Oh, this one's cute too. Look, it's a deck of cards. <laughs> but I gotta pull these tags all off. You are getting squeaky. <laughs> it's a it's a mind controlled clock that they swing in front of your face. <laughs> okay, let's see what's see. I got to pull these tags off of those. Hold on. All right, I have three treats. Pumpkin and honey. Oh, boy. You guys are getting into all that stuff. Chicken crunchies. Mega Moo. What are these? Oh, no, you can't have those. Those are for the big dogs. They're too big for you. All right, let's see. Dirty, dirty, dirty. And then we got to hold you guys up. Here. Go pee there? Here. You did, huh? Yeah, you did. Here. Here. I gotta clean that. Oh, oh this one's a Here, baby. Okay. You gotta take it out of my hand because I gotta clean your pee. Here. Don't step in. Oh, my goodness. All right. Um... I'm going to hold them up close for you guys real fast. Oh, Catherine has a super chat. She has a super chat? Yeah. What do you mean? She asked a question. Oh, okay. Go for it. Oh, actually, I have to board my flight now. Glad I got to see all the babies. See you uh, all next week. Bye, Catherine. Have a safe trip. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you guys smell that, huh? You guys smell that. Come here. Girls, girls, girls. Um, the TV is not on, so I cannot see. Oh, they're actually pretty good right there. Ow, let me see if it... Are they? Yeah, but it's kind of... Oh, no, it's just my screen. They look fine. Okay. I can't see, so... We good? It's not focusing. <laughs> you can't turn the TV on? I tried. Honey, can you turn the TV on? Can you check the batteries? Oh, there. It went on and it went on. Okay. There, it's on. Thank you. There you go. Thank you for turning that on. You're welcome. All right. Baby girl number one. Their names, I don't know. They're right there. Elsa and... Ella. Ella. <laughs> pretty girl. You a pretty girl? Huh? Are you a pretty girl? Hey, have you guys noticed that they ran out of ink on her? She has one eyebrow. She has one eyebrow. Do you see the markings on this side? No. Yes. <laughs> my guess is that this will. She'll be interesting to follow because my guess is that this will come in, um, right here way later. But I don't know what happened. They ran out of ink whenever we printed you. Thank you. Hi, buddy. You look like a boy. Hi. All right. And then we have Elmo and Echo. Echo. And they are right here. Hi. All right. Number one. Yeah. Wait a minute. He says, I'm not going to look over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. He looked for one second. He's like, I'm going to go up. There you go. Good boy. That was a good boy. That was a good boy. Okay. And then, then there's you. And then there's you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's really hard holding them up because they... Yeah, because they don't want to be held like that. Yeah, they're like, I don't like to be held like that. Can you just hold me the right way? They're all awkward about it. (laughs) Plus there's a big light glaring at them. So they don't like that either. He says, I'm not caring either. All right, your parents are not going to be happy, mister. Here. Whose safety chew is on? Oh, yay! That's better. That's better. He looks a lot like Rue did when Rue was a puppy. They are Siggy puppies. They are Siggy puppies. Okay, that's the babies. Huh, that's the babies. Um, You can switch it now, or unless you, if you have questions that you want to ask me now, or can I go over there? No, you can come over here. You do have questions, but... <sighs> Do you want to just sit there for a second? Um, sure. Okay. Hi. Hi. Um, Tanya asked, when do you plan on opening the wait list? Um, I don't know. Completely in the future. Oh, I don't know. I won't do that for, I probably won't just reopen it, period. I don't know. Maybe for a year. Um. Yeah, it's just too long. It's too many people, and it doesn't make sense to have people filling stuff out whenever I know I'm not going to take them. So. Um, Erica said, we've been socializing Kenai quite a bit these last three weeks, but he's still very shy and reluctant to be around new people. What's the best way to socialize an already shy puppy? Um, so you don't have to put them up close and personal, just, uh, you know what, I don't know if it sounds fine with me right here, Alex, because I have the mic way over there. Your thing is green. Okay, good. Um, so socializing is just giving him exposure to all of those things that you don't have to necessarily, um, make him up close and personal with all of them. So you want to do that every single day, every, how old is he? 11 weeks, probably. Um, You want to do that every day. You need to get him exposed every day, a little bit at a time. And then also you want to try to get him into puppy class or try to get him into something so that um, he gets more socializing with other people and other animals. Um, If you can, if not, then see if you can find like, even if it's just the Petco, PetSmart, Home Depot, anywhere that you could take him and just um, expose him to people there and other animals if it's at Petco. But you want to do it a lot, a couple of times a day, every day, and make it always fun and positive and rewarding. And then Stacy said, oh, this is about him drooling. Yes, I thought it was him being nauseous, but then I would wake him up and he is fine. (laughs) If he's just like teething on a toy or something maybe that's what's causing it i wonder no she said when he sleeps i know but if he's doing that first i got this other light on i'm gonna shut off he's dreaming of that chicken when he was sick (laughs) yeah (sighs) um any other ones that was it you guys are crazy yeah, you guys are crazy. No, not my necklace. Okay, the light's blinding me. What time is it? 7.06. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is another thing I wanted to tell you guys. I would love to try to cut the lives down to one hour. So what do you guys think of that? Cutting them down to one hour so that I can have dinner at a normal time. And I feel like if I get everything planned in advance, then I think we can nail it in one hour. Yeah, like one hour right now is like we're we're done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gonna come over there. Okay. Lex, if you could switch the camera view. I'm gonna go over there real fast and um, 
look at my notes to see if I need to do anything else. Oh. And then... <laughs> it's it's not super glitchy anymore. See? Oh. No, 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 no. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. No. Loves to be held. You just love to be held. Okay, 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 okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Here. They heard food, so now I gotta give them some food. Everybody's saying that one hour should be fine. Yeah, I think one hour is good. I honestly do. And then what do you guys think about the, um, about doing the um, live on the babies 24-7 so that you guys could just hop on when you want? And then when I decide to weigh them or update you guys, I can just put the timestamp inside the description. Um, they licked my glasses. I can't see. I could just put the timestamps in the description and then you guys will know when to go, what time to go look at their weights and stuff. What do you think? The drool's all over the circle toy. Yeah, exactly. But he probably but, thinks about chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor little guy. That's hilarious. 24-7, they like it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to try to do that for you guys. 24-7, you hop on when you want. I'll just leave the lullaby music on. And then, um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Because then I don't have to stress over... Oh my gosh, I need to go on for you guys with the other litter. <laughs> I'm trying to streamline things. I know, it's my idea, and then I overwhelm myself. Mm -hmm. Hi. She's just You're sitting tired. Here. Huh. Um, okay, well. She's just had to. I'm thinking we're good. Do we have any other questions? No, right? I think live works as long as we Thank you, Misha. Oh yeah, Misha's getting a puppy soon. I bet you she's so excited. Um, okay, so then we're gonna cut it down to one hour and um, give me back one hour of my time, I think. <laughs> Everybody one hour of time. That would be awesome. And then we'll throw out the, the lives on the little babies. <laughs> I think he spoily does. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, I know. What other breeder does all that? Um, I actually love it. As, as stressful as it can be at times, I still really love it. And I feel like you guys are part of our family. And so many of you guys have just become like, it's our community. And you guys are awesome. And we know so many of you from doing this from the beginning. Yeah. Like how many of you guys were here at the very beginning when we had like five people yeah. Thank you, Natasha. We would have like five people on here and we would be like, oh, there's five of them. Hurry, hurry, get the puppies. <laughs> it was pretty cool to see how it's grown and progressed over the last year. Um, and I then, think, of course, the quality of the cameras. And I think Tanya and Sandy, um, definitely Catherine. Sean, 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 Sean and Shannon, they were like from the very beginning too. Emily Miller. Yeah. How many of you guys were in the beginning? The Tamara is saying she remembers the first lives. <laughs> yeah. Was... Shannon and I were there for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh yeah, Erica. Yeah. Okay. So we probably had 10 of you guys. <laughs> there was like 10. No, I'm not even kidding. I would be like, Ethan. Hurry, there's eight of them. Hurry, you need to go play with the puppies. There's eight people watching. <laughs> and that's before you would even go on camera. I wouldn't go on camera. I was like, I am not going on camera. I did not, I don't know. It was so weird. Like now I feel like it's so normal and 
um, you just get used to it. But in the beginning, I was like, no. Nope. In the beginning, when we Not had all the it. dogs outside and we had them live for so long, we would check back and there's, oh my gosh, there's actually 10 people on. <laughs> Ethan, Ethan, let's go outside. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Or she would tell us that we needed to rotate who was out because she wouldn't go out there because the cameras were on. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I know. Well, we've all grown. That's for sure. I appreciate all of you guys, like the sticking it out with us and hanging out and learning so much. And you guys teach me a lot too. So I appreciate it. But yes, thank you guys all for the super chat and super stickers. I know I haven't really been talking about that much, but thank you. If you guys have questions, let me know. Um, I'm glad all of you guys are supportive of the one hour, so we'll probably just uh, start that next week. And I should um, I should grab some puppies right here. Oh, we'll just do it with her. Um, I hope you guys learned something today about the cons for the Alaskan Klee Kai and better prepare you guys if you are going to be getting a Klee Kai. And for all of you that already have one, you guys know the drill, but um, at least hopefully this will help you guys in the future. Be prepared. And do you want to switch my camera? Oh, let's get those thumbs up, family. Yeah, that's a good idea, Sean. Thank you, guys. Um, I probably need some moderators too. You guys are going to need to step it up. Thank Aww, you, Stacy. Thank you, Stacy. Um, because we need people on here to like, you know how Catherine will answer. I know a lot of you guys actually do answer, but she is a moderator. And then we have another moderator, but that was an accident and I didn't want to kick her off because we didn't mean to do it. Michelle Dion. She was like, it's fine. But if you guys are interested in being a moderator, you've been here from the beginning. Uh, moderator just means you help answer some questions in the comments and you'll put links or anything and help those people and ban the ones that are spamming us. All of that fun stuff. See, you guys get to you guys make can the rules. Simple um, questions that we don't necessarily need to answer. Yeah. If you guys are interested, send me an email because um, that way we can. Like for example, well, how come my things not working, Lex? Um, my buttons know. are not working. Um, but that way, like for example, today Catherine is um, flying, and that way, you know, we know we have other people on here. It would be awesome. But if you are interested, email me so we can have a couple of you guys. And um, thank you. Oh my God, where are you going? I'm gonna switch this so we can. You done. Huh? Is working? For what? To switch my camera. To switch your camera, they all work. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get it on here. And so you hit mom. This, how come this doesn't work? I don't know. I need to fix that. She breaks my stuff. I break your stuff? I fixed your stuff. She does fix my stuff. I really am lost. She See, I'm going to show you guys. Look, I got this little handy dandy. Wait, can I? Show them. You need to put it like way up here. Oh, do you see that? All these little buttons. So that's how I'm able to try to push things and be able to keep it going from different cameras and add all that stuff. But half of my buttons aren't working. So because I I changed them. Yeah. Whenever we changed your pictures. Oh well. Anyways, thank you guys so very, very much for supporting our channel and always being here for us. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. And until next time, bye.